Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, September 15, 2022. If you like the support channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button above about the CR news videos, and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's start by looking at the NASDAQ, and as you can see, we have rallied quite a bit. We're up more than 1% today after a massive fall yesterday of roughly 5%. So it may well be that we will rally a little bit more up towards the 20 simple moving average, which is moving in this direction at this point. So we could see this rally up to it here and then um, and then get rejected. We also have the 50 moving average moving in this direction. So we may see this uh, rally up towards the 50 and then get rejected there. If you take out the previous highs from, from yesterday, which is at 12.8K, um, then we may go and retest the 200 moving average. If we break below these candlesticks here, then it's more likely that we'll go back towards the very lows of roughly 11K. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, bearish, stochastic is still bearish, and the RSI is bullish at this point as we have been rallying today. So yes, uh, there's a lot of data coming out tomorrow and also on Friday, so that will definitely uh, play a role in this. At this current stage, expectations is that the Federal Reserve will continue to increase increase their interest rates and therefore that will be definitely negative for especially the nasdaq if you look at the s p 500 we can see that we have rallied also here we are up nearly one half a percent but still we dropped roughly four percent yesterday and this is just a blip of what basically we saw yesterday if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is bearish stochastic is also bearish and rsi is bullish at this current stage so also here we have a crossing of the 20 simple moving average and the 50 moving average so it may well be that we rally up towards the 20 simple and then to get rejected there or towards the 50 and get rejected if you manage to break above the highs here and then we are most likely going to test the 200 moving average but after this massive fall here that doesn't look like that's going to be the case if we manage to take out uh, 3885 then we basically are looking at a massive drop all the way down to the very bottom here of 3637 if you look at the Dow Jones we did drop below and that's a kind of warning sign for maybe what is to come uh, but we did rally at the end of the session so we may see this continue rallying up towards the 20 simple moving average which was most likely going to rally uh, going to look something similar to that 50 moving average is moving here so rallying up towards the uh, 31.7k and get rejected there that could be possible or the 50 moving average and then get rejected there if we break below the candlestick here, and then we may drop towards roughly 30K or all the way down to 29.6K, which is the lows uh, from, from June. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is also bearish, and RSI is flat at this current stage. So Dow Jones, definitely more bearish than the other indicators. So let's look at the, the DAX. DAX had a terrible day yesterday, today as well. Didn't fall ex uh, as much as the US indices, but it still continues to fall today. Down 1.22% uh, uh, at this current stage. Drop below the 20 simple moving average. And at this current stage, it looks like we are most likely going to test the lows here of 12.6 before finding a bottom. So if we rally from here, 50 moving average is just above. That should offer uh, resistant. But at this current stage, it looks like we are just going to continue falling towards the lows here. If we break below, then 12.3k um, should be where we'll find major support as this is where we have found support in the past and have basically created a double, triple bottom. And breaking below this, then we have to go much further out in order to find a bottom for the NASDAQ. But in general, every single rally that the NASDAQ has made this year has been sold into and this should probably not be any different if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is bullish stochastic is bearish and the rsi is bearish and also there's a lot of room to the downside so japanese nikkei you can see that we are trading underneath the 250 moving average at this point technical indicators are all turning around becoming bearish so the question here is whether or not we take out the 20 27.2k 
is right here. If we do that, then we may drop back towards the lows here of 25K. Uh, to the upside, we need to take out the 250 moving average in order to go back toward these highs. But at this current stage, if we see these technical indicators uh, fall, then we are most likely gonna see a fall also in the Nikkei. So let's look at the VIX. VIX has turned around today after the massive rally yesterday of above 11%. So 20 simple moving average moving in this direction, 200 moving in this direction, and we have a crossing here of the uh, 250, uh, which should uh, be a, a bullish indication. Uh, at this current stage, if we drop further, then we'll most likely find support at the 20 simple or uh, down here at the at the 200 moving average. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is still is becoming bullish. Stochastic is still bullish and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So let's look at the 10 year. 10 year is running basically getting exhausted and that is also expected as this is where we found uh, massive resisted in the past. So we kind of probably gonna make a double uh, top here and 20 simple moving average is most likely where we're gonna test first. If that, uh, if we get uh, finding support there, then we may rally from that point. Otherwise the 50 moving average is moving this direction and we could basically drop below that before going higher. Dropping below all of this, and then we end up with the 200 moving average right underneath, which is at, at the 2.6 uh, at this current stage. 50 moving average is at the 2.9, and the simple moving average is at the 3.2 at this point. MACD is still bullish, stochastic is also bullish, and RSI is at this current stage overbought. So, hope you found this helpful. You're one to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell to see our news videos. Good luck, and thank you very much.